Hi, I'm Vanessa from SpeakEnglishWithVanessa.com. Are you ready to express yourself clearly in English? Let's talk about it. Have you ever been talking to someone in English and you just couldn't remember the right word to say? Well, never fear. Today, I'm going to help you with the top 100 most common nouns in English. And like always, I have created a free PDF worksheet with all of these top 100 nouns, definitions, sample sentences, and at the bottom of the free worksheet, you can answer Vanessa's challenge question so that you never forget what you've learned. There's a link in the description to download the free PDF. All right, are you ready to get started? Strap on your English vocabulary helmet and let's start with number one. Baby. Baby. My friend just announced that she's having a baby. Kid. Kid. When I was a kid, I wanted to be grown up. And now that I'm grown up, I want to be a kid again. <laughs> parent. Parent. Now that I'm a parent, I understand my parents a lot better. Pet. Pet. My first pet was a hermit crab, and I kept him for five years. Family, family. Notice the pronunciation here. In fast English, we drop the middle I. Family, family. I love spending time with my family. Home, home. I love coming home to my family at the end of a long day. Car, car. How old were you when you first drove a car? For me, I actually helped to fly a small airplane before I ever drove a car. I was maybe 15 years old and I was working at a small airport. It was kind of an exchange. I got to help with the airplanes and she taught me some about flying small airplanes. So I have kind of an unusual story. <laughs> Garage. Garage, this is the American English pronunciation with hard G sounds. Garage, garage. I park my car in the garage to protect it. Room, room. Everyone looked at her when she walked into the room. I wonder why, hmm. Relationship, relationship. I formed some meaningful relationships when I was in college. Friend, friend. We've been friends since I was five years old. Person, person. If you're the last person in the room, please turn off the lights. School, school. I never really enjoyed school and maybe that's why I became an online English teacher instead. Book, book. I was so interested in that book that I read it until 3 a.m. Teacher, teacher. I'm so happy to be your English teacher. Student, student. Thank you for being my student. Education, education. Notice this pronunciation. The D sounds like J. Education. You can get a good education in a lot of different ways. Information, information. I need some more information before I can make a decision. Group, group. A lot of my students meet with a speaking group once a week. And you too can also do that. If you join my course, The Fearless Fluency Club, you can meet thousands of motivated English learners and practice speaking together. There's a link in the description. I'd love to see you there. Team. Team, I was so happy when my team won the championship. Subject, subject. Math was never my best subject. I knew that from a very early age. <laughs> class, class. Have you ever been to an in-person English class? Project, project. My husband's new project is building a new fence for our chickens. It's a big project. Research, research. Notice that this is the American English pronunciation. We emphasize re and don't emphasize search. Research. I never buy something big without doing some research first. 
result, result. If you want good results, you have to work hard. Reason, reason. Notice that the S sounds like a Z. Reason, reason. You better have a good reason for being late. Change, change. Working at the library instead of at home was a nice change of scenery. Desk, desk. This desk belonged to my grandmother when she was a student. Computer, computer. Notice that the T changes to a D sound in American English. Computer, computer. I've been using this computer for over six years and it still works great. That's amazing. Mouse, mouse. I screamed when the mouse ran across the floor. Or it could be this device. I click the mouse when I want to go to the next page. Screen, screen. Oh no, I dropped my phone and now the screen is broken. Work, work. I have so much work to do today. Job, job. My first job was working at the airport, like I just told you. What about you? What was your first job? Career, career. Instead of a traditional teaching career, I decided to start an online business instead. Company, company. My dad has worked for the same engineering company for over 30 years. Business, business. In my opinion, construction is a difficult business to be in. It's very physically demanding. Place, place. What is your favorite place you've ever visited? Let me know in the comments. System, system. The typical language learning system in a classroom doesn't work. Maybe that's why you're here. Program, program. My son had so much fun at the summer program that he went to. Government, government. It's important to be informed about your local government. Community, community. Notice that this T changes to a D in American English. Community. I love the community that I live in. People are so kind and friendly and welcoming. City, city. Also, this word has a T changed to a D. City. I've always wanted to live in a city, but then I realized they're so crowded and noisy. <laughs> county or county. County. The county I live in has the best schools in the entire state. 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 I live in the state of North Carolina. Region. Region. I would love to visit the wine region of Spain. That sounds amazing. Area. Area. What's your favorite restaurant in the downtown area of your city? Address. Address. If you want to send me a postcard, my address is in the description. I would love to get a postcard from you. Minute. Minute. I'll be ready in a minute. I'm almost done with my hair. Hour. Hour. Notice that the H is silent. Hour. We waited for an hour for our table at the fancy restaurant. Day. Day. I haven't eaten all day. I'm starving. Week, week. I'm so excited to spend a week at the beach. Weekend, weekend. My family likes to go for a hike on the weekend. Weekday, weekday. The bank is usually only open on weekdays. Morning, morning. I like to get all my work done in the morning so I have the rest of the day to do whatever I want. Night, night. Don't forget to turn your car's headlights on when you're driving at night. Month, month. I have my bills set to auto pay, so I don't need to think about them every month. They are automatically paid. Year, year. My husband and I have been married for almost 12 years. Amazing. <laughs> Season, season. Fall is my favorite season because I love the cool air and watching all of the leaves change. What about you? What's your favorite season? Decade, decade. 
I can't believe it's been over a decade since I graduated from college. Time flies. Game. Game. Did you watch the baseball game last night? Party. Party. Notice that the T changes to a D here in American English. In my opinion, there is no perfect political party. They all have something wrong. <laughs> event. Event. I'm planning a fundraising event for a local charity. Time. Time. What time is it? Oh no, I'm late! <laughs> thing. Thing. What's that big thing on the counter? Ooh, it's a mystery. Moment. Moment. For a moment, I forgot why I walked into the room, and then I remembered, oh yes, I need my umbrella. <laughs> idea. Idea. I have an idea about how we can improve our performance at work. More naps. <laughs> hobby. Hobby. Flying an airplane seems like a pretty cool hobby, but it's really expensive. Club. Club. My friends and I used to have a book club and it was loads of fun. Library. Library. My family visits our local library about once a week. We love getting new books. Museum. Museum. Usually art museums are very overwhelming for me, but I loved the Orsay Museum in Paris. It was perfect. Art. Art. My neighbor is always making some kind of art. She's very creative. <laughs> history. History. Do you know your family's history? Store. Store. I'm going to the store to buy some milk and bread. Do you need anything? Just a little note, in American English, when you say I'm going to the store, it almost always means the grocery store. We sometimes just say the store, but it's implied the grocery store. Groceries, groceries. I went to the store to buy groceries and I forgot the two things that I went for, milk and bread, oops. Park, park. My son loves going to our local park because they have a nice lake with a lot of ducks. Equipment, equipment. I think I could fix our car if I had the right equipment. Cafe, cafe. My friend decided to open a cafe, but instead of a building, it's in a double-decker bus. How cool. Health, health. You can have all the money in the world, but if you don't have your health, the money doesn't matter. As they say, your health is your biggest wealth. Doctor, doctor. I wasn't feeling well, so I decided to make an appointment to see the doctor. Office. Office. I got nervous when my boss asked me to come into his office, but really, he was offering me a promotion. Hooray! Nurse. Nurse. I thought about becoming a nurse, but the sight of blood makes me feel sick. It wasn't a good fit for me. Engineer. Engineer. My dad is an engineer. My husband's dad is an engineer. I wonder if any of my sons will become engineers. Tools. Tools. My husband is always buying new tools for projects around the house. Has that ever happened to you? <laughs> airplane. Airplane. The last time that I flew on a commercial airplane, I got COVID. Ugh. Airport. Airport. It's a good idea to get to the airport early, especially if you're flying internationally. Bus. Bus. I was late for my appointment because I missed the bus. Train. Train. As the train left the station, I realized, oh no, I forgot my luggage. <laughs> Hotel. Hotel. Our hotel was in the perfect location. It was near public transportation, parks, and a lot of great sites. Pool. Pool. Do you want to come over to my house and hang out by the pool? Beach. Beach. Make sure this has an E sound. Beach. Beach. Some people love going to the beach in the summer, but for me, 
I'd rather go when it's a little bit cooler in the spring or in the fall. Farm. Farm. I love visiting my friend who has a farm. There's so many cute baby animals. Vacation. Vacation. What is your ideal vacation? Let me know in the comments. Street. Street. Our best friends just bought a house on our street. We're gonna be neighbors. Building. Building. I love the design of this building. It has so much natural light. Sign. Sign. Notice that the G is silent. Sign. The business sign says that it should be open, but the door is locked. Front. Front. Oh no, I have a stain on the front of my shirt. Back. Back. I found this can of soup in the back of the pantry. Do you think it's still okay? Side. Side. I like to sleep on the left side of the bed. Beginning. Beginning. At the beginning of the movie, I liked that character. And then I realized, oh, he's the villain. <laughs> End. End. We just talked about the 100 most common nouns, and now this is the end of the lesson. Congratulations, you just learned or reviewed and immersed yourself in English with these top 100 nouns. Don't forget to download the free PDF worksheet with all of these nouns, sample sentences, definitions, and my challenge question at the bottom of the worksheet so that you'll never forget what you've learned and you can have the right words to say when you speak. There's a link in the description to download that free PDF. Thank you so much for learning English with me and I'll see you again next Friday for a new lesson here on my YouTube channel. Bye. The next step is to download the free PDF worksheet for this lesson. With this free PDF, you will master today's lesson and never forget what you have learned. You can be a confident English speaker. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for a free English lesson every Friday. Bye.